quite nice. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't know where that came from. Alright, so happy Saturday to all of you. I hope you guys are having a good Saturday, a good weekend. Um, yeah, I don't know really what I wanted to talk about when I, I... I had so many ideas yesterday, last night, and then coming into the video today, I don't have much of an idea of what I'm doing. So, but anyways, alright, so this little guy is finished. Um, I finished him last night, and now all I have to do is fill him with herbs, fill him with different stones, uh, I'm going to definitely do, um, quartz. Uh, copper wire wrapped quartz crystal um, with many other stones in it so he's going to yeah. he he turned out to look like bafflement I mean big time so I'm very very impressed with the way he looks very impressed so I gave him let's see those are seashells thank you Mr. Mothman my partner in crime thank you for those seashells they came from Florida. I love seashells. I love Florida. My grandma loved Florida. It's a family, family thing. So what I did was I added two. I thought first I thought maybe just two, and then I thought, well, I kind of really want a horn, like a three-horned <clears throat> type of deal. So and then I gave him little horns for his ears. And then he actually has little horns right here so quite the uh, quite the interesting little character I love him he is he's so cute so yes yeah, so now I just have to figure out the teeth and <clears throat> the deal with the teeth I did change his eyes to a green it just looked better so now he actually has eyes instead of just stones in there. What else did I do to him? That's it. That is all I've done to him. So yeah, I'm very happy, very impressed with the way that turned out. I'm very impressed with how it holds, how all that actually holds up, so. Very sharp, very pointy. So I'm very, very, I still, ha I still get that Judas uh, kind of feel from this. So he is going to be I don't honestly know what I want him to do, um, since, you know, the, the hole in the bottom, no sisterly, uh, the eyes, they are just indented, just like the sides, like they're just indented, so, uh, I did make use of the indents, though, for the ears, especially for the, the horns, and then I gave him uh, a really nice little sparkly, uh, oh, a gemstone there. So yes, he has bits and pieces from literally around the world. Literally from around the world. So he is part uh, part uh, English. He is uh, part Floridian. And he is probably actually made in China. So he's probably a little bit of Chinese. So, I love it. And then he's got the little wrapper in him right there. With the chain, with the girl. So yes, I'm very, very happy with you. Yes. So yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna... I'm not selling this one, but if you guys do want one, I will gladly craft one for you. I just love him. I love him. And then I actually thought about maybe, um, since that's, you know, an opening, maybe uh, a stick. Maybe he would be really nice on a stick. Something like that? I don't know. I'm just very, very happy with the way he turned out. Lots of energy. Lots of very positive energy coming from such an obscure looking, uh, ominous looking thing. But yeah, I love him. Yes, I do. You're cute. Sorry. I, I do. I talk to my, my stuff. So, yeah. What do you guys think? What do you guys think I should do with him? What could I use them for? I'm, I'm, I want your guys' suggestion, your guys' ideas. What could I use them for? I already have one skull, Legion, right there. And that's just kind of like an ancestral home um, that was done uh, within the Luciferian context. This is just done within a traditional witch, witchcraft context. So, 
He reminds me of the Buka. Yes, he's the Buka. Yes, you are. Sorry, guys. I just really like him. I'm loving him to no end. <laughs> okay, anyways. What do you guys think I should do with him? Uh, I could put him on a staff, a stang. Like a... Ooh. Those really cool, uh, like, walking sticks. But then I don't want to screw them up. So, I think... If I fill his head with it, just herbs, tons of herbs, tons of crystals, uh, just all the amazing things, I think I can bring him to life. Well, not literally bring him to life, but bring him to life through, you know, ceremonial ritual magic. So yeah, very, very excited. Very excited about him. Okay. He's really sharp too, my god. Very sharp. So yes, the Orgon energy though, it this is very different from what I'm used to doing for Orgon. So yes, I think I might actually do a little more Orgon or actually put inside um, an Orgon pyramid. Well, I couldn't fit an Orgon pyramid. <clears throat> the hole's too small. So, I don't know. Orgon pieces, maybe Orgon pieces. Maybe little pouches, like a tiny, tiny little drawstring pouch for... Uh, herbs, whatever. Maybe have something hanging off the back. I'm not 100% sure. He did look pretty cool with the the Shungai bracelet. But I think he's already like a black metallic. So I don't want to do that. But yes, I need to define his eyes more. They don't pop. So he, I've got to define his eyebrows, all that good stuff. But yes, very happy with him. Love him. That was my uh, Friday night. Just really, really getting, working with that thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've kind of created just a few more uh, little trinkets. Um, a very nice little bracelet for Isis. So that's what I did. If I can get it. Just a really nice uh, little sacred leaf, feather leaf, for Isis. And then we have, let's see, what do we have here? We have sterling silver. What in the hell? Yeah, we have sterling silver. Uh, spacer beads. So yes, we have sterling silver spacer beads, and then we have all of Isis's colors. So, and then at the very top, sense. Isis unlocks basically every door to everything. We have a very tiny heart lock. And it actually has a key attached to it. So how cute. How cute is that? I know it's blurry. But yes. Very excited about this for some reason. I just love the ambers and the honey colors and the gold. I don't like gold. But this gold, I it just... Is that gold? Yeah, that is gold. That gold. Yeah, there we go. You can actually see it. I actually like that gold for some reason. So, yeah. And then we have... Those are actually, um... Kind of more of a clear honey. And then we have, you know, your darker amber as we go up. And then we have... I think those are actually hematite beads. Hematite, hematite. And then at the very top, we have uh, little sterling silver beads. So it looks totally different today than it did yesterday. So just getting very creative. So um, there's uh, the official poster for... Why am, am I fuzzy? Is it just my eyes? There. There. Um, so we have an official poster for Ouija behind the board. Very excited. Uh, my dear friend Kristen... Uh, you are amazing, for one. Um, I love our chats, our, our midnight, late night chats. Uh, it, you're incredible. I love you with all my heart. I'm so excited to start this new project. Ouija behind the board. It's going to be incredible. I am just so freaking happy. So, basically, I already told you guys my idea about it. So, I just kind of want, you know, all aspects of everybody, what everybody thinks about the board. So, I need to know what, you know, uh, the most religious person thinks about the board, 
and then I want to know what, you know, people like me and you guys know and feel about the board. And so just to kind of get, you know, it's just kind of going to kind of prove that uh, that stupidity <laughs> isn't racist. So it will show you that, you know, people with two teeth, um, they could be more spiritual than the most richest person on the face of this earth. Uh, they could have more compassion and more love. So, that's that's kind of where my point is. I want to show stupidity within uh, people. It, that came out totally wrong. Um, I want to just show both sides of the board and then bring it all together at the end and then show, well, this is why this has happened, this is why you have had a bad experience because it is your fault. <laughs> that makes it sound even worse. Uh, I don't know how to actually uh, say it properly. So just both sides of the coin. Um, nobody gets made fun of. That's kind of, I feel like that, you know, saying, you know, somebody with two teeth could be more spiritual than the, the most richest person. Uh, it, that's just a little too much. Uh, it's very unprofessional to say. So I just want to show that, you know, uh, that these uh, ideas and concepts of the board uh, doesn't just lie with, uh, you know, uh, very smart and very um, intellectual people. That other people, you know, everybody can be uh, very spiritual um, and understand the board and have a very good understanding of it. Um, for instance, um, I have an uncle who is um, a drug addict, so be it. Just don't, you know, rub it in my face. Don't try to get me to do that thing. It's not my cup of tea. It's not my cup of coffee. So, he is the first person to have a copy of my musings of a small town medium. And my point for that, for the whole family, is to show that somebody that messed up daily can read that and understand where I'm coming from, opposed to somebody that is completely, you know, normal, uh, brain-wise, not on anything. So yeah, that's kind of the whole deal, but I'm very, very just, with you, Christ Kristen, it was just amazing how fast we came up with, you know, the, the poster for it. Um, I think it's incredible, I really think it's incredible. We, I, I think we make a really good team and, you know, the synchronicities that were going on with it last night, it's just, it, it's got to happen now, so I, it has to happen. So I'm very excited for this new one. Um, so yeah, it won't be too long. So if you guys want to be involved, you can. Um, you get full credit. Um, I promise there's no making fun of anybody because it is going to be a very serious um, indie documentary. I don't want any being made fun of, uh, but going back to the whole, you know, the person, you know, that's lesser off, that, I mean, just completely forget that, but I just want to show, show the world that, you know, that it's not bad, it's good, it's a very good thing, the way we use it, the way we utilize it in our daily lives, it's just, it's incredible, so that's what I want to get across, and I think I've done that with Ouija Pop. Um, so this is a Ouija Pop production, so it's independently funded, and by me and Kristen. So thank you for for joining in with me on this. I'm very excited. So uh, and I have some pretty good ideas of who I want to interview. So uh, there's one very very special woman that actually um, has very uh, good experience with the board, and she is close to uh, her grandma with that board is how I kind of understood that. So she has a connection with uh, the board through her grandma and herself. So that, that really hit home right there. So um, I'm not gonna reveal any names because I don't wanna jinx anything and you know, just in case. So hopefully, hopefully, uh, Raccoon, you will, uh, yes, you will do your, your little snippet for the, the short documentary. And congratulations on all of your accomplishments. You're amazing. 
but yes, I won't give away any names. That's, that's as far as I'll go right there. So, yeah, if you guys want to be in it, you guys can. Just send me, or Kristen. Um, I have to get to, we have to really talk more about this, so. Um, we, late at night, it's just so much easier because there's less clutter. And we can talk and we can just figure things out that much easier. Wow. A big cloud of smoke. And my grandma's here. She really is. She would have loved that. So. I'm just, I'm really excited for it. Have you guys seen it yet? For the Ouija? Ouija behind the door? I'm, I'm too excited. Yes, people, I'm trying. Sorry. Okay, I have to get my... Let's see if I can actually... There we go. I don't care if my iPad has not been packed up for... How many? Okay. So it was just very easy to come up with this. Um, visualized it. Found the picture. Did it. And it's done. So that's the official, the official poster, movie poster, well, video poster, whatever, documentary poster of Ouija Behind the Board. So, yes, yeah, an indie short film based on true opinions and ideas, and with Kristen Ellis and myself. So I'm very, very happy with this. So, we were thinking of a board, but no, this is perfect. So thank you, Kristen, for being amazing last night. That was great. We had a really nice time talking and just getting... Shoot. There we go. Bright brightness. We had a really, really good time just talking and getting, getting all of this put together. How did my hand just get stuck? <laughs> so yes, um... <clears throat> Ouija boot campers. I, I'm sad. I don't want. I don't want to see you guys go. But it's been well, well over two weeks. So we will. Uh, if you guys want to stay and continue learning, you're more than welcome. You don't have to pay again. Um, that's just for the initial fees. Um, people are asking how to sign up. Um, I did post it, um, I did a, uh, what's it called, I did a, uh, what's that thing called, oh, a Patreon post, a blog post about it, um, about Ouija behind the door, um, so it's, everything's there, and Ouija, the Ouija course is the Ouija boot camp, so we will be able to start fresh. Um, I don't feel like with this course, I, I kind of feel like I didn't uh, teach enough. Um, so, but Nick, you, you, I mean, you freaking, you, you did great. Yeah, I mean, you did amazing, and I'm just completely, just <sighs> mind blown that you actually caught on that quick. I, it, and Kristen, you, I mean, you posting, uh, you can post as many sessions as you want on my timeline i don't care that is amazing stuff right there so you're understanding how the idiomotor effect it takes all of us to actually channel that type of energy to actually you know have the spirit you know work with us it has to use us our hands it has to use our hands in some way shape or form so for the idiomotor effect it, we wouldn't need you know, if it was supposed to move by itself, we wouldn't have to place our hands on it. We wouldn't have to take into consideration the motor effect with the Ouija. So, I'm just very happy. I'm very, very happy about that. So, what else? What else? I'm not sure. Um, full Moon. Full Moon. Have you guys any ideas? on what you guys want to do. Um, I know what I'm going to do. We have, what, nine days left? Eight days? I think. Um, and nobody told me that Mercury was in retrograde until last night. Thank you very much for uh, 
that's funny, the full moon. The moon has moved into Sagittarius two minutes ago, so that's really good. Let's see here. Um, so the full moon, we have seven days until the full moon, so it is in Sagittarius, which is very good, I think, I hope. So we will see what it's going to do for us today. Uh, spontaneous, broad-minded, and joyful. So, and this will last until August 21st at 12.08 a.m. So, good. We can use this good energy, fire, fire energy, for that. Uh, the full moon, seven days, let's see, the 26th, so it'll be on a Sunday. So, what's today, the 18th? So not this Sunday, but we have until next Sunday. And yes, I think that'll be great, I think that'll be fun, so... Have you guys planned anything? I'm trying to plan things like in advance. Just, you know, to get everything got situated before I officially s retire, or not retire, but um, graduate you guys from uh, Ouija Boot Camp. Um, Mallory, I have got to, uh, I have got to take time out, and that's, this is all my fault. I have got to take time out, and I have got to watch your video. Um, your video responses to me. I'm not used to that. Um, I'm used to people responding to me uh, through email, through, you know, uh, messenger, through, you know, just regular chat, uh, it posts. So it's just easier for me. So I know, you know, who is, who, you know, I know you're in Ouija Boot Camp. Uh, like Nicholas, we messenger. That's all we did was messenger. And that was perfect. So in the future just try to try not to do video responses for uh, Ouija boot camp even though it may be easier on you it's very difficult on me because I don't I don't watch uh, much on YouTube um, I just do my videos post them and, and that's it I mean I do watch a lot of you know my Ryan Michael Ballo uh, the Nootropics Cortex stack thing I do watch that uh, there's a few channels that I do watch, so uh, just mm, try to keep it in emails. So for the last assignment, I already posted that. <coughs> There's no right or wrong answers, and you guys have just done great. You guys have done amazing. So I'm just very happy, very happy that you guys know what you're doing. So, um, so Mallory, if you want to stay. Um, in Ouija Boot Camp right now, uh, for this next one, you are more than welcome. Anybody can stay. It doesn't matter. You don't have to repay. Um, so, but if you do want, like, since I'm not doing any, you know, any more revised, uh, books, everything stays the same. So, uh, you'll, everybody will have the same copies, basically. So, there's no, you know, issues with shipping and everything like that. So, uh, if you're in the UK, um, it's, it's just, it's too much to ship, so I would have to, I'd have to go back into my, yeah, my GoDaddy account, and I'd have to change all the pricing, and I'd have to, it's just, it's difficult. So, U.S., Canada, it's easier to ship to Canada, it's cheaper. U.K. is so expensive, it's crazy. So, I just, I, I feel bad, I feel, really honestly feel bad. So, for the people that did not get to get a signed copy of the book, um, I will give you a digital uh, PDF copy of each book, and I'll sign it. So I will just, I lit literally will sign it on my um, iPad so you guys can have a signed copy. So I think that's only fair, because I feel really bad that you guys, like everybody from the UK, uh, Lou, you didn't, um, there's a lot of people that did not you know, get that, you know, get the physical copies, and it just, it makes me, it really upsets me, it, it does, to no, to no end, and I want that for you guys, I want you guys to have all of these objects and items that come along with Ouija Boot Camp, but it's just, the, it's the shipping, it is crazy, and it just keeps getting more expensive, and I don't know why, they should have one flat rate, for universal fucking shipping. That's all I gotta say. So yes. 
yes, Ouija boot camp definitely. Um, definitely will continue. Um, you guys have made it better for me. So I know now, I, I have, you know, we have, what, two months now of the Ouija boot camp going on. Well, actually, probably about three months of it. So the, the first time I started it, we started very early. I mean, really, really early. So now, um, so before the third one starts, I will actually have to, you know, everybody that wants to be in it, I have three spots. So you can sign up now, reserve your spot. And then that gives me the opportunity to hurry up, <laughs> order all of your, your books, and ship all of your stuff to you. So I can do that before we actually start. And then when you graduate the Ouija Boot Camp, that's when you get your special little thing. A little, just a little something. So I kind of want to make it a little more, uh, uh, better. I, I just really want to make it better. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to focus on making the Ouija lessons better. Uh, it, it's almost like this one wasn't challenging enough. <laughs> it's like it wasn't challenging enough, so. But yeah, Mallory, I definitely will today. Um, I will definitely uh, watch the video responses. Um, I'm just not used to that. I, it's it's weird when I see that. I'm like, well, how do I find it? But then you sent me that, so thank you so much. So I will definitely, definitely watch that because you took the time out of your day to respond to me through a video, so I have to watch it. There's just no way around it. It's, it that's sweet. That's, you know... That's genuine, uh, wanting to learn, wanting to be in the group. Wow. Whatever I took kicked in. Yeah. Um, so yeah, for, so the, uh, Spiritual Nootropic, uh, somebody on the, on this page, uh, the comments, and suggested like uh, it's not you know hard to start a new tropic and testing is you know it's easier if you want to go in with me on that you're more than welcome to because I have no idea what I'm doing um, amped up we just pop amped up it was something along those lines that sounded awesome that sounded really amazing so I have I have some pretty good ideas just to unlock the brain and you know use our full potential for the board um, but yeah, excuse me, yeah, that's just, that's just my thing now, that's, I don't know, I don't know how, I don't know how many people would actually be interested in that, I thought I was going to hang up again, not a lot of people, you know, like the idea of nootropics, because you have to actually take a pill, but it's natural, so, it's, it's all good, so, just, I don't know. If you guys want to, um, that's basically my my last concern is a new tropic. Uh, my first concern is you guys and you guys, you know, you guys learning from the board and from what I teach. And it's just you guys are awesome. That's all I have to say. So for the first uh, little pre like preview of Ouija boot camp Halloween. I'm very excited because Halloween stuff is out right now, so it's a lot easier for me to get my stuff. Uh, so you can expect some new stuff, new vamped, uh, revamped items, but uh, the books are done, completely done finally. So they're all revised, no more changes, no more nothing, except modern or uh, musings of a small town medium. Uh, that book might get condensed or it might actually get bigger. So, I just I don't know, really. I don't know. But, yes. So, um, oils. Oils. I definitely have to get you, uh, you guys your oils. So, for the full moon, though, spiritual enlightenment, candle and herb magic, fetish, charge that. Uh, a group candle. So, that is what I'm going to be doing, just to help all of us spiritually grow, become more, uh, more open to the positive spiritual side of the board. And I have to write myself a note for you guys. I'm almost out of paper. Okay, so uh, 
previous or current Ouija Bootcamp students, you guys all need. So you guys need the oils. And you guys need Mallory, you need Ouija Pop. I hope you got uh, my package. So yes, the Ouija Pop oils. You guys will definitely need Nick. You're gonna have to remind me again what I sent you. Um, the oil, so you guys still need the Ouija Pop oil. And I will do that on camera for you guys. Uh, that video got a lot of uh, likes. You guys loved that, the uh, ASMR for the, you know, doing that uh, the oil thing. Thank you guys. So oils, Ouija Pop oil. Um, I will send a bunch more. Um, I, right now I can't afford uh, to order any more uh, bottles for oils, the half ounces or the ounce, yeah, half ounces. So I can't do that right now, so I have little dram bottles. So I think they're like four drams. So I'll send you guys little sample packets, and then I will send you guys, uh, if you run out of the Ouija incense, I'll send you guys that too. So that is one amazing, one amazing incense very addictive smell so um, I wish I could do Ouija pop oil to smell like that I can I can so all right you guys are gonna be getting Ouija pop oil and Mallory you're gonna be getting Ouija pop so Nick have I sent you the revised version no I have not so you you need the revised version of Ouija pop as well or did I send it to you? I don't know. So, I am going to be sending you, Nick, Ouija Pop the Revised Edition. And I don't know what to call you, Nicholas, Nick. So I'm sorry. So, okay, Ouija Pop oil for you guys. Ouija Pop for Mallory. Ouija Pop for Nicholas. And I'll send more incense, too. I have a, a ton of those little tins. So, yeah. Very excited. Very excited. And I'll send you guys some more jewelry, some more bracelets. Uh, if... How, how's the ring? Are the rings working for you guys? Is it helping to... Uh, the sunstone and the rhodolite, is it helping to kind of bring in the positive energy of the goddess with your Ouija sessions at all? Because I hope that is what it's supposed to do. So, let me see. Yes. Yeah, I have a lot of uh, stuff that I do want to still send you guys, so I will definitely get that done uh, for the dram, just little dram bottles. It just it kind of irks me because I want you guys to have more, so I'll probably send you three dram bottles. It, I have like a hundred of them. They're, of course, they're going to be cheaper than a regular, you know, bottle. So you guys will get those too. So I'm just really excited for you guys to get all this stuff. Uh, and then I plan on Mallory. I still today um, I have got to figure out how to. You wanted an organ uh, plancha pendant. So we're gonna figure this out. Somebody's gonna help. So this is actually my last Oregon planchette. So you can see the copper coil inside. Hopefully. Yeah, there it is. So yes. Um, I will figure out a way to get this uh, done for you. And this actually has... Is it? Does it glow? I don't know if this one glows or not. But it does have the beach sand in it, so it's a very, a very nice, very thick uh, pendant. So I have got to figure out how to do this. So I, I'm just probably going to have to super glue it. I can't drill a hole right here because of... I don't want to... I do not want to ruin the organ, so... I just think it's really cool, so uh, the next set of boards, <laughs> I'm actually going to um, start doing Oregon boards, so I'm just going to incorporate some Oregon in the board, um, 
it might take a little more epoxy so that's okay with me um, i love epoxy i love working with this stuff it's amazing um nick to answer your question i don't know how i got started on all this all the crafting and all of this um, i would say it's my mom's fault um when i was 10 10 years old maybe a little younger we made a halloween tree and i found this in the witch's almanac um which is why i had to redo which is why i did uh, uh the ouija witch's workbook because of the witch's almanac write your write out your ritual and it gave you like this much room it's about that much room that is where that came from so that that's why i redid that pissed me off i was very pissed off little little kid <laughs> at Llewellyn, I don't know why. Well, yeah, I do, because they didn't, you don't, you guys don't give us enough room to write our, our rituals in. So it's terrible. So yes, just something to create, and then I can decorate it more for you. I can do anything you want, so just tell me. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> and then, um, I do have, um, regular fake leather, this is leather leather, um, so I have the fake leather, and then I have uh, a little bit of chain left, um, I will have to get more chain for you if you want that, if you want it on a chain, so I can do that, or if you have one, um, I can do hemp, um, I can do different colors of uh, twine, or not twine, but uh, just different colors of like string, I have the uh, different, you know, uh, red and the white mixed together and then I have like the red or the white and like a really pretty silver that's all twisted together so anything to I don't know don't know how I'm gonna get that to do that so uh, I don't know a bale uh, I don't want to put super glue on it because super glue turns a nasty white um, epoxy glue very different very difficult um, I would much rather have probably just a very tiny insert like this one when you actually get to make them so it actually goes in so it stays but I don't like this well I do love this but it cracks it makes it crack you can see where it cracks right there with the uh, the post so I'm not sure how I'm gonna get this one done I don't want to screw these up so I want everything that you guys get to be the best, the best I can do, personally, for you, so, I don't know, I don't know, I tried doing, um, like a loop, a little slip knot, hanging it like that, it looked like a Christmas decoration, and I don't like Christmas, so yes, it'll be like this, so I just, I've got to figure out how to do this, I don't know, but I will get it figured out, so, um, yeah, I missed the post today. They're closed. I'm sorry. Monday, Monday morning, I will be sending out your board, Nick. Hillary, I will be sending all of your stuff. And I have, yes, got to watch your videos and see where you're at. So that'll really get me up to date with you. So, um, and then we have to plan our our group chat. So even the previous Ouija Boot Campers, have been, we haven't done our group chat yet. So we just have to figure out, because my schedule is crazy busy all the time. Um, I'm always in therapy, I'm always with my case order. Um, I'm always running, um, I'm always cleaning, I'm always doing something, so I'm always very busy. Um, I, that and I'm doing current spell work for people, and yeah, it's just, and then taking care of myself, so. But yeah, I really wanna do this for you guys, so. going to tell you guys. Hmm. That's weird. But yes, um, I, I'm still trying to yeah, soak that idea up of the new tropic. Amped Ouija. Ouija pop. Amped up Ouija pop. That'd be great. That'd be great, great. So I just, I don't know how that goes about. You said testing was pretty easy. Or, I don't know. 
I don't know how to even start that. So yes, uh, what you said though would go with what is being used currently for this kind of thing. So if we were to do that, the spirit from the tropic, I would have to go with, a lot of them, they all work. It's just getting the right combination. So that's where I am not, I'm not good at that. I, I, I don't want to measure. I don't want to sit there with, you know, uh, a scale and measure, you know, and put them in little O caps. I, I don't want to do that. But I, ha I will if I have to. So I don't know. I don't know what works. It all works. So, um, yeah, just go with what is working currently. I thought that was a pretty good idea, so thank you for that. So, yeah, I don't know. The Ouija Pop. Um, back to back to Ouija Pop and the Ouija Boot Camp. Um, yeah, I just can't wait to start it again. It's... I'm trying to It's going to be even better. Uh, I think it's going to be more uh, focused. A lot more focused. So, I just... I, I'm very happy with how it's going. Um... The Ouija Pop Pendant. I really want to start kind of getting this out. So, um, if I can find, I don't know, a little uh, printer, like a Bluetooth printer for the iPad, then I can do those. And I can put those in bazel trees and put epoxy on them and decorate them for you guys, make them look, you know, just amazing just what you guys want so but yeah so first for the uh newcomers if you don't know what ouija boot camp is here we go so ouija boot camp is me teaching you how i ouija <laughs> that's it no i'm kidding it it's a lot so um you're gonna learn the history of the board uh you're gonna learn how to use it you're gonna learn the misconceptions uh you are going to literally train your brain to Ouija. So it's really, it is, it's rewiring the brain. Because as we grow, uh, we're told that, you know, these things are fairy tales. They're not. They're not. So uh, we will go over all of the, uh, you know, the misconceptions, the whole Zozo crap uh, that's in the book. So that is in Ouija Pop, uh, the revised edition. Uh, we will go over just all kinds of techniques um, to get you ready to Ouija. You'll get your uh, your goodies, and my goodies. Uh, it's what is going to? I it's my anchor. These are things that anchor me. So you guys can pick your own crystals, uh, your own oils, whatever makes you feel good, and like you're gonna have the best Ouija session of your life. So that is what. That's what it's all about: empowerment. So learning to get the best and most out of your Ouija sessions and to contact the other side. Uh, it's not a fortune telling game, sorry, but it's not. Um, so yeah, and just, you know, you're in control of the board. Uh, nobody else is, not the spirit. Uh, source, I uh, source above all, yes. Uh, and then us. So you guys will learn, you know, just how to, you know, uh, properly properly uh, start a Ouija session, you know, the, the opening prayers, you guys can still, if you guys still want to, uh, Ouija Boot Campers previous and current, you guys can still do your pros, it, it's just an opening statement, like, uh, I invite all good spirits, good, uh, good entities, uh, my ancestors, source, uh, into the session for the greatest good of all and for my greater good, uh, and just, you know, go with that, so go with your greater good. Make sure uh, you will go over fears. We'll transform fears um, into daemons that work for us, that help us, that empower us. So we'll go over our fears, we'll transform them, we'll go into sigil magic, uh, we will go into aromatherapy magic, and uh, candle magic, crystal magic, uh, adding things to our sessions, creating the atmosphere, so you guys get the gist. So that is really what you have to look forward to. Um, for for the next group, yes, I definitely uh, 
would like to start it, you know, get your guys' you know, spots saved first, so then I can actually order all the books, all the materials, and ship it out right away. And then, as we go along, you'll get more packages, and just more goodies, and it's, it's just fun, so. I do have to get some more epoxy, and I have to get a new pyramid mold. My pyramid mold went completely bad. I am very mad. So, um, I do have a few pyramids left. Uh, I have a few left. So yeah, you guys will get everything that you have seen being posted. So you guys, will, you guys, it's, it's a great deal. <laughs> it's a great deal. It really is. Um, so you get your own Ouija board. I make you one. I will channel one for you. Just tell me what you what you like, uh, your favorite colors. It's gonna keep twirling like crazy. Uh, your favorite colors. Um, so I plan on incorporating the Oregon into the boards. Um, I do have one left. Uh, that is going to a dear friend. Uh, for some odd reason, she I channeled something from her and it turned out to be on the board. So it's uh, Tool, the band. Um, I don't know too much about Tool. Uh, I don't know their logos, um, but I guess I channeled that logo. Or I channeled it in some odd way. And this is the board. So this is something that you guys, well this is already, this is, this is uh, sold. I don't know. Tool. I have no clue. But I still can't find these. The uh, chalkboard jot. Can't find them. I really wish I could. But I mean with the smaller ones, it's easier to for me. It's cheaper. It's more cost effi efficient. Uh, with the smaller ones, it's just, it's, it's easier. So yes, this is already, already sold. And I think it does glow. I'm not sure. But yeah, you guys get all kinds of good stuff. All kinds of fun stuff. Um, what else? What else? I think that's it. I think that's it. Uh, I got another free sample of uh, another new Trobit today. And I'm quite excited about it, actually. So, I don't know how to say the name. So, they sent me a free sample. Thank you. Um, let's see. Peak Nootropics. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Fennel. Lefiel. I don't know. You guys can try to pronounce that. I have no freaking idea. I, I, yeah. Fennel something. It's not phenylene. Phenyl. It has a T in it, so yeah. Peak Nootropics. 500 milligrams. So yeah, very good. 60 caps. I like it. So yes, this is another good one that came. Um, there is a slight risk with that one. So we will... I will show you. Um, Kristen, yes, I do remember when Freya talked about pogs. Sorry. All right, so I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about this dietary supplement. Ooh, recipes <laughs> for salsa. You guys need salsa recipes? Fenny, let. All right, let's so Fenny, let. Fenny, lethamine. So, let's see. Um, ooh. Ooh. It's a stimulant. It's a very, uh, very stimulating. So, what do my eyes look like? Yeah. I can definitely tell. Okay, so. Um, I'll go to Wikipedia. Okay, you know what? I have to pee. 
So I'll be right back. I'm sorry, but I have to. Sorry, guys. Alright. So, um, I don't know how to say this one. Phenethylene? Wait, no. So it, it's an organic compound, natural something, uh, monomane, monoane? Alkaloid and a trace enemy which acts as a central nervous system a stimulant in humans. Okay. So. Okay, yeah. Orally ingested phenethyl. Phenyl, wait, phenethylamine. A significant, significant amount is metabolized by the small intestine. And then. Wow, I, I don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, pretty, uh, stimulatory. Whoa. Very stimulatory. Um. Yeah, so it does fall into the MDXX and contains many drugs which acts as um, empathogens, stimulants, psychedelics, anorexics, uh, antidepressants, da 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 da. So it's a prime amino acid. Uh, so, I don't know. So it's a chemical class. Uh, yeah, this is just very confusing to me. Very. Oh, it system stimulants, amphetamine. Ooh. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have taken that if it's in that kind of a group. I, I don't know if I like that. But yeah, this is supposed to be really good for you. Um, I don't know if it is now. Take one capsule. Do not use... Da, 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 da. So yeah, I don't know. I did take one capsule, so it's been an hour. Not really anything. Let's try one more. Why not? It won't kill me. If anything, it'll just make me more uppity uppity, and I'll get more done tonight. So yeah, very nice. Very nice. I'm just loving these. Yeah. Try it one more time. See what it does. <laughs> so yeah. Um, if, yeah, yesterday was big, big blog day. Big blog day. I blogged everything I could for you guys. Um, so now we have just got to, me and Kristen, we are really getting into, uh, talking about actually, you know, getting the documentary rolling and going. So hopefully it's something that will be perfect. Um, she's a perfectionist, I'm a perfectionist. Uh, it, it, we work just very well together. We have always worked very well together, and it's just great. It's great. She, she really was sent to me by the goddess. I really do think so. So, and if you guys are on my regular public page, not my public page, but my regular Facebook page, you guys can check out her sessions with uh, Odin. With Odin. So I know a lot of people really, really love Odin. Um, I, she got Loki. Um, I really like Loki. I'm not in big into the Norse uh, gods and goddesses. Uh, so I follow more of the Egyptian path. So, I, I, I don't know about contacting like Loki or Odin, but I mean, if you guys want to see that, it's on my regular Facebook page. So if you're uh, friends with me on there, you guys can check out all of her sessions. She posts them to my, to my timeline. I love it. Um, she has, literally, literally, she has, you don't have to thank me anymore. Uh, she, she keeps thanking me, she's thanking me for helping you uh, to Ouija, and you, you keep thinking you learn from the best. I am not the best, but I do know what I'm doing. So, yeah, 
I just, yeah. I really, really am proud of a lot of people. A lot of you have followed, uh, really followed through with uh, what you're doing. Um, you guys have just, you know, followed, you know, what I've been doing. And it, it's helped quite a few people. Quite a few people. So I'm very, very um, humbled at, at nighttime. Um, you guys can bring tears to my eyes. <laughs> uh, big time. Just because of how amazing you are and just all the stuff that you've learned. And then you feed that back to me. And I see it in, like, Kristen's work. Uh, your magic and your way of working. Um, I see me in you. And then it's probably, the, you know, vice versa. So I just think it's incredible. It is so incredible to see uh, that, you know, Ouija Pop is it's an actual thing now. It is real, tangible a thing. So, it's gonna be good. So, um, we have got to uh, work on a trailer for, uh, Ouija Pop. Or, Ouija Pop, yeah. It's a Ouija Pop production, um, for Ouija Behind the Door. So, yes, yeah, so if you guys want to, please, by all means, send me, um, it can be up to five minutes. You, just give me your regular opinion on what you think about the board your experiences and just what you think so um, both sides so I need I need good and bad so I want it all in there a big pot of the good the bad and then we will at the end reveal okay this is how it's you know this is how it is so I think it's gonna be fun it's gonna be great and interviewing people I think that's gonna be even somebody told me but who told me this uh, it was a psychic she told me that I was going to be, she can see me interviewing people. You're on here too. So that's coming to be, so thank you. Thank you for seeing that and telling me about that because it's going to happen. I'm very excited about it. I'm very excited. So yes, my book's going out Monday. Um, book's going out Monday, oil's going out Monday. Um, if you want, you can reserve your spot for Ouija boot camp for the next one. It'll be late August, uh, early September. Um, so yeah, I just, it's, it's been amazing. It really has been amazing. So, and then I've recently checked my, uh, feedback on, uh, the books. Wow. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for, uh, for the, you know, amazing feedback on the books. Uh, love letters from Lucifer. The price is going to come down because I'm going to redo that book. Um, it's glossy. Do I have a copy? No. I don't have a copy anywhere. So, um, that book, um, I didn't realize that it, the cost of actually producing a book was so much. It's glossy, so it costs a lot. So, for example, So yes, for example, that's why this one was uh, a lot cheaper than Ouija Pop, the Deluxe Edition. Because it's not glossy. Love Letters from Lucifer is glossy. So that kind of just, it just irritates me a little bit. So yes. Oh, this is to my cousin, actually. So yes. I think you guys will really like the new edition. The new edition one everything you've ever wanted to know. Well, everything that I personally know about Ouija. So page 157, I'm pretty sure is. And I actually have in here um, some very, very good Ouija sessions. So my friend, um, so it's on page 120, 112. True Ouija stories of empowerment and encouragement. So, this was 516 of 2015. So this is how far that all this goes back, the Ouija. Well, with Ouija Pop and all of the Ouija teachings. So, it, I just think it's really, really neat. So, um, Elm Ouija, you're in here. You are in here. Um, I have a lot of people in here. I don't give names. I won't give names. At all. So, um... Where did I put 
Zoe so. I don't even know why. I don't even know why he adds those. Are a case of mass hysteria. 154. So. It really goes into detail. I mean, you get a good portion of Zozo on just why it's fake. So. Psychological Ouija experiments, so yes, everything is in this that I know about the board that I've ever learned. So, alright. So, let me know what you guys think. Let me know your guys' ideas. Um, if you want to be a part of the documentary, yes, please do so. So, alright guys, I will see you all tomorrow for Sundays with Satan. I love you all very much, and just keep doing what you're doing, guys, because you're amazing. So, I love you all very much. All the way from Venus. All the way back down. So, alright, I'm done blabbing, and I will see you guys tomorrow. So, love you all.